No success has ever come from the top. It is always from the bottom up. the next question right um a lot of people some people i want to say a lot of people a lot of people are kind of done with christianity right and it seems like they're in limbo spiritually what what advice would you give ones who are trying to reconnect to african spirituality okay i think I want to say a couple of things about this. This is some. This is the, a subject that, very, that is very close to my heart and something that I always bring into the work that I do, because we are a spiritual people, and spirit to us is not away from life. It's not a taking a break away from reality. It is reality. So when we struggle to connect with our spirituality, it is a mirroring of that we are struggling with connecting with self. So I would say, especially people who are I want to speak to this because I lived that reality for a long time myself. I was very, I felt very far away from people who could guide me. I, I didn't know who to ask. I didn't know who to, who to talk to, who to, who to, who to go close to to get the right answers. And I know that many people around the world in the African communities can relate to that. And I would say this: it starts with finding a way that you can go deep into your memory. Because as African people, there's so much power within us that we no longer know how to tap into. What I mean by that is through, for instance, fasting, meditation, finding your quietness, because we find that life across the world, but I think especially in the West, there's a certain noise, there's a certain traffic, there's a certain um, destructive energy that often keeps you away from actually finding your peace and finding your inner memory the eating life the eating habits the lifestyles plugging out of the noise also means that you can tap into your ancestral mem memory so as you as you heighten your skills in this you'll be able to find a place of still within you and connect with ancestors and heighten your ability to spirit for spiritual consciousness to grow that's just a basic level i wanted to mention that first because obviously the next uh, set of of uh, uh, recommendations is that if you know a spiritual practitioner obviously you have a conversation with that person so that you can get some guidance but i also want to say this we have been and this is on the continent and, and in the diaspora um, we have been forced away from our spirituality because our oppressors were very aware that if we were going to be conquered, we could not continue to believe what we believed and know what we knew. So we would have to be separated from our spirituality. Our conquerors and our oppressors knew that very well. So they spent a lot of effort to make sure we would hate our spiritual origins. We would divorce ourselves from our spiritual knowledge and consciousness so that we could be easier, uh, oppressible. So when we, and this is important to understand because many people feel, Okay, I think I can, I think I have a notion of what an ancestor is, but I'm not sure. Do I talk like I talk to a normal person? Do, and then they, then they would think, let me not, let me not even engage because probably I'll do it wrong and that might upset the spiritual world. I think we, I, I get that we need to be respectful, but as a people who have been forced away, it's not like we chose it. We were forced away from our spiritual scripts. Uh, the spiritual world understands us like that. So when we pray for instance and let's say you have never heard an african pray you don't know what to do you don't know what to say so you just close your eyes and say you know what i don't know how to pray i just want to connect with my ancestors i'm so and so i come from this family this is what i know about my origin and i'm just calling out to my ancestors that's and you think the spiritual world would now sit and say ah but that's not a prayer that's not how we used to do it back in africa this is not a, a proper prayer of course there is a proper prayer because i think that's what prayer really is it is to bring yourself back fully because when we don't tap into and, and can connect with our spirituality like i said we're not fully human so i would just i'm just trying to say i'm encouraging africans across the world to tap into it and start with what you have and when, when you know a certain song, when you have a certain CD that you can put on or a certain music that you can put on, when you have a drum, that use what you have. And the, the beauty of African spirituality is that when you connect with it, it will respond, it will teach you, it will guide you so that your consciousness is rising and you'll find your feet into a more 
confident uh, ability to connect with spirituality. Yeah, that, that, that's a real reason too. Like I, I find that most people is like the more the more the more they try to find themselves is like they get more confused because they think there's a they need to have a set pattern, a set pattern of how to do this or how to do that. Because you see the whole concept of what Africa is. Africa is a vast man landmass. I wouldn't even say continent, because continent itself is a European concept. So that's most people true. don't know where in Africa to connect and where to start from. So how how do it be an even just spirituality or religion how do they pile all of these concepts that that the most powerful landmass on earth how do they pile all these concepts to come to the whole concept of what even pan african is is okay yes so so i would say this for those who can travel i would say almost anywhere on the continent is a good starting point i think you, you mentioned something very, very crucial. You say that, for instance, we refer to Africa as a continent and it's a European concept. And we also refer to, uh, even when we go into our African spirituality, many of us have been raised in Christianity or other religious scripts. So when we then feel that that no longer applies to us, what we often do is we go out and seek a replacement. So we almost want like an Africanized version of what we got used to within Christianity or Islam. And that that's just crazy because it doesn't work that way. So for instance, you would say, but isn't there an African book? And so you want yeah, a replacement yeah. for the Bible now. <laughs> How do I pray? Yeah. So now you want the, the replacement of the, of the hymns and the chants and what you learned in church. What I'm trying to say is Christian um, African spirituality doesn't judge you in the same way that you got used to under Christianity and Islam, where, where it said, if you pray like this, it's wrong. If you sit like that, it's wrong. You, you, you will be embraced. And yes, you may be corrected. There might be elders you find along the way who say that actually when you pray, you should wear this or you should use that. But it's not like, how, oh, how could you do this? This is now you're truly not a believer. It's not about a religion. And I think that's what many of us don't get. So I would say if you can travel, and, and this is quite interesting because um, I think especially with the Caribbean connect connection and those who are affiliated to or live in the Caribbean don't even have to necessarily travel all the way to the continent, at least as a first travel, because there's many connection points around the African diaspora where many uh, people, sisters and brothers have really taken upon themselves to be channels to bring back the spiritual knowledge. And linked to what we said about where do you start and how do you know that this is for me and that is not for me this is what i mean with growing in your spiritual uh, uh, consciousness and intuition because there's a different voice that is it's very different than the intellectual voice that we often measure ourselves by what i mean by that is we measure ourselves with an intellectual voice how much i can talk how much i can make sense how much people clap when i say certain things how much people say wow you got so much knowledge you see that works in a certain realm but when i go into my spirit those things I can't perform my spirituality. I'm not doing it for applause. I'm not doing it to be admired. I'm doing it to connect with me. So I call forth those in you know, my family that I know. I connect with the little knowledge I may have about my lineage or what I've heard and what I've, what I've known. And even if I can't connect with a lot of my ancestry in my biology, I start with those who have inspired me in history. I start with those that I know brought values into this world that I also want to align myself with so my point is it might take us a long time for some of us to really grasp the fullness of african spirituality but i don't want us to sit and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait until we feel we have everything we need we need to start somewhere and even if you 10 years later find out that yo in the beginning when i started this journey i knew nothing and i thought i knew everything that's okay start somewhere start somewhere so that you don't just sit and wait and wait and wait well let me hear you say mountain, mountain.